Hey, Mothberg time once again, guys. We are going to open up our, there's a Tupperware container here with moths that we took, that Ricky and I took from the Keys. We have here a beautiful female Io moth that we caught. We did a video on her. She failed to lay me any eggs, which was disappointing, but we have a specimen. Anyway, so we're gonna mount her. Let's see what else we got in here. All right, that's not, that probably is good for now, guys. We'll do this female Io moth from the Florida Keys. The female Io, and she's been in the freezer. I wouldn't be surprised if she was still a little pliable, because, yeah, so her wings are already pliable. That's a beautiful moth, and, but, Still a little, needs a little work. So we're gonna put her in our rehydration chamber. Okay, just gonna place her right there. All right, it's been a full day, full 24 hours or so. And there's a lot of cool moths in here and a pretty cool butterfly as well, which we are going to mount, spread the wings on, but this episode is going to be mounting this female Io moth from the Florida Keys, guys. And check out other videos to see when we do these other moths, including the Vine Sphinx. Look at that bad boy. Ooh, awesome. Um, the Io moth, guys, is a really cool bug because... Uh, in the Florida Keys, it has a different coloration than in a lot of other places. And the, the ones down here have a lot more of a, kind of like a, 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 a more of a matte coloration than the ones on the mainland. The, the specimens on the mainland have a lot more different colors, a lot more variability. Uh, but the ones in the, the, in the Florida Keys, I'll show you the difference here, uh, are different. So uh, one thing I'm gonna do, I am actually going to use my X-Acto knife and I am going to sever the tendons on the wings. So underneath the hind wing and fore wing on the left side, flip them over, her over, underneath the hind wing and the fore wing on the right side. Now. This specimen is very pliable because those tendons have been severed. Now, look at this beauty. Check this guy out, this girl rather. Um, I actually have only have a couple females from the Florida Keys in my collection. The males a lot more readily come to light. So, oh, that's not the right, that's not the right pin. I'm using a number two black enamel pin. we got to prop the abdomen up. So right now, especially with big female moths that have a lot of eggs, look how the abdomen droops down. If I don't prop that abdomen up, that that thing's going to be down and it's going to and it's going to dry like that and you won't be able to pin your specimen into any pitting bottom because the abdomen's dry and it's in the way. So what we'll do is we are going to take two pins and we're gonna go underneath the abdomen on both sides and make a little V. And we will position those pins so that the abdomen rests in a cradle made by the pins and keeps it in position. So now you can see the abdomen is held upright in place by the pin, so when it dries, it doesn't look all like it's uh, like it's sad, right? Automeris Io Lilith 
from the Florida Keys, from Key Largo. Uh, we'll make a, a label. This one was caught in July, I think it's July 26th, uh, right during Moth Week, actually, uh, during our evening in the Northern Keys uh, with a group there. We Several people took photographs of her. I was hoping that she would lay some eggs for me, uh, but she did not. She did not lay eggs, which was very surprising. Usually they lay eggs pretty readily, um, but we're going to make that label. So it's Key Largo, Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge in the Nike Missile Site, uh, July 26th, I believe, 2022. Uh, this is a female. The females on the mainland have a lot more of a like a like a darker brick coloration and a lot a lot more um, patterning. And these are very matte. These ones from the Keys are very matte gray, uh, matte colored uh, with a lot not not a whole lot of patterning. And the eyes are the eyes on the hind wing are actually different too from the ones in the mainland. So beautiful moth guys. Now we just got to put paper on top of the wings. All right, folks. There's our IO moth, big Florida keys female io moth and she's got that real brick red coloration with not a whole lot of markings on the forewing and so we're just going to put her up here in our box and she will await to be placed in her ultimate home uh, guys we've got some pretty cool other moths and a few butterflies in this box as well uh, Bam, look at the giant sphinx. Anyway, uh, guys, hope you liked the video on mounting our female io moth. Uh, make sure you guys always label your specimens or give an identification, a date, a, uh, and a location label all on your specimen. Make sure that you do that so that scientifically they have as much value as possible. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care.